Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of New Vida Let's Talk. Today we got, man, the one and only. My name's Julius Wilson. Julius Wilson, <laughs> like he said. A music uh, producer, you know, engineer, artist, tattoo artist. Honestly, bro, you, I feel like you got so many freaking talents, I can't even list it out. Nah, they're cool. But you I guess for, for those who don't really know you, do you want to just give a background of who you are, where you're from? You Not know, really. Just, nah? No, like, right, like, 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 the people know me. Yeah. If you follow me on Instagram or whatever which is just julius wilson like i really don't hide anything i just fucking do everything on my there's really really there's if you follow me on instagram there's nothing that you wouldn't know about me be better like, add the fucking thing right now <laughs> the instagram yo let follow them. me right here <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i don't uh i'm not ashamed of that and i really don't have any secrets like i probably have some dark dark secrets let's get into those I don't know where they are though. They're that dark. I would have to go find them. Yeah. Eh? But I know they're there. They're there. Yeah. All right. Bet. So, yo, <laughs> let's actually like let's remove the mask. Let's yeah. Let's <laughs> let's I honestly was about to take it off anyway. What happened? Let's, let's, let's actually let's show off. the true work yeah. of art over here. No, I was so. just getting comfortable. I was honestly about to take it off, but it was so comfortable and warm on my face. I was like, yeah, maybe I'll just leave this. Leave on. it. <laughs> so, Julius, um, let's. Let's just start from the bottom. Like, what got you into music? Because that's what you do, no? Yeah. Um, it's funny. Like, I've always, you know, been into music and stuff since I was young. I was, like, 12, and my parents, they all banded together to buy me a guitar for fucking, for my birthday or whatever. Uh, but what really made me, like, like, not, like, fully take it seriously, but, like, kind of take it serious was a girl, actually, in middle school. I made a song for her. And she fucking hated it. And she was fucking embarrassed. That, like, because what happened was it was on a CD. And I gave it to her. on. The C I put it in her desk, right? And somehow somebody found it and was like, oh, Julius made a song <laughs> for her, blah, 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 whatever. And the teacher's like, oh, don't don't hide your talents. And the teacher wasn't on my side either. And took it and put, put it in this fucking CD player. In front of the class. In front of the, class. Front, in front, in front of the, the whole the class. Audacity, that's bro. That's, yeah, that's so, wild. It was so fucked. And yeah, we, everyone, we, we were singing or rapping? Like, like, we, uh, I, was rapping. Rapping I was rapping. I was rapping, yeah. Okay. Like, like Lil Wayne, I was really ha heavily influenced by Lil Wayne. So I'm like, baby girl, let me take you out there. Yeah, <laughs> That's was, sick. So, but uh, freaking, uh, yeah, she hated it. She got up, walked out of the class, but everyone else loved it. Everyone loved it. And then from there, I just... I, I obviously was heartbroken because like this girl like she, literally she never fucked with me for the rest of middle school like she would always walk away from me and everything like, heartbroken, <laughs> like but uh everyone else fucked with it they loved it they're like oh whatever keep doing it then i was like aladdin in in middle school for like uh a play, like a play? Like, yeah 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 i was aladdin and then i've, I've done plays and stuff so like ever, yeah ever since then and then i just i started playing sax in middle school I, i'd say middle school yeah middle school was really like but made me really like get into to music. I so, guess early on it was probably like um you know something fun. Like when when did you when did you find it as a passion or something you're really serious about? Like you wanted to be a career kind of thing. Like when or did, or did I, that even happen? That I, I would say in middle school, like when you got all that ego now from everyone fucking lighting you up, saying like yo you're the man and blah blah blah. And mind you, my shit was garbage. It was so it was so bad, and uh, and then I guess when I really started taking this serious. I don't know what switched or what happened, but um, I was on Facebook and oh. I typed in managers and I just went through, I typed in music managers and I went through every music manager and I was probably like 13, 14 and I went through every music manager and I just sent them my music, sent them my music, sent them my music, sent them. Damn. I, I, and I, I'd probably go through like a thousand a day and I was just sending, sending, sending just on, on Facebook and uh, something bit and this guy named Jonathan Cisco, he flew me, my parents, out to uh, New Jersey to sign me because I was under 18, right? Yeah. So I couldn't sign. So he flew us out to New Jersey, paid for our hotel and everything. And, uh, and you were how old? 18? I was 14. 14, oh, bro. Yeah. Fuck. That's I was 14, crazy. yeah. And then I was like, yeah, this shit's lit. Yeah. yeah. I'm hopping on planes, going to the States. My parents are getting paid for. Yeah. Yeah. And then we shot a music video called Main Girl. It had a Corvette in it, Escalade. Back when like Corvettes and Escalades yeah, were, were, like, the thing. were like the thing, you know what <laughs> I mean? Uh, and then we shot that music video and I had like a whole Justin Bieber. I was, they called me the black Justin Bieber because I had choreography in it and everything yeah, and yeah. blah, blah, blah. And uh, that's when I was like, yeah, I'm 
I'm gonna fucking do this shit. Damn, at such a young age though, bro. Bro, wild at 14. Yeah, yeah it's pretty crazy. When did uh, you start taking it serious, right? Because you're probably just doing it because you got girls and like, yeah, you felt good too, right? But, uh, uh, when was it? I guess less ego, right, and more like passion, art, the, passion, the, the, yeah. the love for the music. Well, it's always been passion for real. Yeah. Like I've always battled with like mental health, like, and that's such a big thing nowadays. And I hate to say it like that because it seems like it's over saturated talking about. No, it. No, speak blah, blah, blah. on it. Bro. It's important. Speak but, on uh, it. Speak on it. Cause I've like, always been into like uh, that. That was my getaway. Going like. My parents, I remember days when like, my parents would ground me or something like that or take my computer away or something like that. I'd just sit in my bed and cry with my guitar. I'd just lay on my bed and just cry and just make up songs all day long. You know what I mean? So right. like, it's always been a passion. And then I got older and then new niggas started coming into the game and it was like, well, hold on. Hold on. Don't let the alpha male come out. Don't let, don't let the alpha male come out. And then it was like, yeah, I got to fucking, now it's show and prove. Now I got to work harder than anyone else. So the passion was great, you know, and I fell for the passion. But I think I got more passionate when new players started arriving. And it was like, now now, now, game on. Now it's It got to, fun and competitive. Yeah. Do yeah. you play sports back in the day? Yeah, I played like, everything, bro. Yeah. Hockey, lacrosse, uh, volleyball, uh, football, um, fuck, roller hockey. Uh, no way. Um, soccer. Yeah, I played, like. Yeah, my parents had me in everything. So you think that, like, playing all the sports helped you being competitive in the music game then? When you uh, see these guys show up, you're like, ah, oh, I in, can one-up in, in retrospect, yeah. In retrospect, for sure. For sure, it definitely did. Um, thinking about it before, no. And now, now th- that you're even saying that, in retrospect, it's like, yeah, that's probably why I go so hard. Because I went so hard in all these. Other, like, I played, like, high level, like, basketball, like, rap ball and shit like that, right? Like... My parents weren't, like, rich or anything, but we were well off, like, that they could, you know, they put a lot into me and my brother, so, like, to give us this you, life. You play hockey the whole time? Uh, I didn't know you play hockey, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I play hockey dope. for a bit. I play hockey for a bit. Well, they call me Cujo. <laughs> <laughs> P.K. Subban Jr.? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, PK, so yeah. Uh, that's, it's funny, because Cujo is my, uh, he's one of my, he's my cousin. No way. Yeah, Curtis is my cousin. It's, it's so crazy. So, yeah, he fucking... Uh, he was adopted, and he got adopted by my grandmother. No way. Yeah. Small world, eh? We talked about this earlier. Really small world. This Super small world. Right? Super small world. What do you find, like, especially networking with, like, essentially, like, we're from London, but, like, right. networking from people from London, Hamilton, Toronto, like, what's that like? Networking yeah. with people? Fuck. Honestly, I love networking. Like, honestly, that might ha- might, other than producing, that might be my favorite part of the whole industry. Honestly, like, I, I love... The reason I like everyone thinks I just go out to party and get drunk, do drugs, blah blah blah. No, I go out to fucking meet people, and when you meet this person, this person, like I love traveling and meeting people and being like, "Oh, you from here? Oh, you know this guy? You know this guy?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and then like the bonds and stuff that you like because like, I just feel in life like we need to make those connections with people because like really like we have all this other material shit and our passions and blah blah blah, but like it's really people. Like, having people, you know? Like, the worst thing you can do to somebody is put them in solitary confinement, you know? Block them from the world or from human interactions and shit. So, like, for me, it's like, yeah, I just want to meet... I really wish I could meet everyone. Everyone looks at, like, my followers and how how many followers I have and how many I'm following. They're like, oh, this guy follows so many people. It's like, yeah, if Instagram didn't block me, I would keep following so many... I want everyone to know I exist and I want to know they exist. You know what I mean? Like, because there's so many people in the world. Facts. I guess, like... How how far has that network brought you? You know what I mean? Like like you know, Fuck. that network's brought me everywhere, bro. Like everywhere. Like from like how we were talking about real estate earlier and yeah. stuff like that. That ne- my network has just brought me everywhere. It's like uh, from one thing to a next to a next to a next to this right now. Somebody sees this, and then that opens the network, and then they message me, and then who knows what happens from that? You know what I mean? It's Fuck. just it just exponentially grows but you got to put yourself in the position right yeah to, for it to grow or you have to have uh excuse me some value you know what i yeah. mean like everyone's genuine everyone fucks with everyone but deep down in our human brains or whatever we fuck with people for value do they make me feel good do they well whatever it is it's still a selfish thing you know like you can only be selfless so much so if you have that value then and I have a lot of value to give, so fuck. 
I don't know who doesn't fuck with me. And if you don't fuck with me, that's fine. Yeah. Ooh, spooky wooky. No. We went there. No, saying. but it's good though. It's like, uh, even to in a way, you can be so confident that like, I don't know, like you come to a point where like, if people don't like you, does it really matter? No. It doesn't, bro. Like, it depends, man. It's hard to say because like, like if my mom or my dad doesn't like me, that's fucked. Yeah. Like, I will kill them in their sleep. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but, like, that's fucked. Like, you know, so it's like, and then you you try. You try and grasp onto, you know, like, it's like having a girlfriend or something like that. And, like, and then they want to break up with you. And it's like, in retrospect, like, you're like, fuck. Man, I should just move on and be big dog and alpha male. But, like, there's a part of you that's like, yeah, I do care. that that. And then you self-reflecting, like, is there something wrong with me? But really, there's not. It's just, and there's, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just people like we got conservatives, we got liberals, we got you know like people like what they like, and you can't convince anyone to not like what they like. So that's what's crazy is I feel like like we're we're all humans, we're all different. You know, like you said, we all have different beliefs, different right. values, different right. morals, whatever. Like and but but for some reason we can't have that discourse on all those different subjects. You know it's what I mean? crazy, but I honestly. I'm not getting dark. It's not a dark point, but we'll get dark though. We will. <laughs> this yeah, bro, but, jump, but, jump but whatever, it, it, it's not dark. It's that we, as a, as a balance for good and evil, we need that. Facts. We need yeah. race, like people to not like people's races. We need not people not to have, because we need that balance. Because then when the good comes, it's like, whoa, yeah. look what we overcame. Well, good you can't exist I mean? without bad. And right. vice versa. And, and vice versa. Right? So. No, it's a good point. Even too, it's like, you can't have good without bad, right? Yeah. So like you have to see in. like you have to see everything burn down before yeah. you can see everything grow back from the ashes. A hundred, hundred percent. Real, but yo, I, you you dabbled a little bit in the real estate talk there. Like, tell us about that, bro. Tell us how you got into real estate. Like, that's big. Oh, it's fine. I've always wanted to be into it. You know what I mean? And like my manager, like ex manager, manager, whatever. He's my brother, and anyways, to the end of the day, yeah. um, he's like, bro, once you get your foot in that door, you're lit. Like I was saying to you, you got your foot in the door. This time next year, you'll probably have five properties, whatever. And then, like, all the people that are around me are just big dogs, man. Like, yeah. I just got I got great influences around So, like, me. what was your first property? Like, was it, like, um, an investment um, purely or, like? My first property would have to be uh, the Airbnb in Hamilton. Yeah. That's, like, me and one other person. All the other properties is like me and like five people. Yeah. But and that's another trick. That's another free game, bro. You got you, 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 you. All y'all just take your take your little fifteen, ten grand, put it all together, get a fucking new build or whatever, and like get five, six, seven people that you really trust or loyal with. And even if you don't trust them that much, have everything get signed on paperwork. Put because you can't just come up with a hundred racks, but I'm sure if you got eight other people to put ten or nine other people to put ten racks in, boom, you're lit. You got a huge property. Everyone splits the thing, and then you keep dabbling. Everyone wants to do things by themselves. That's important. It, everyone grows in a situation like that. Everyone yeah. grows. Yeah. You get to put your homies on. Every you For get real. to put your girl on. You get to put your mom on. Your dad on. Your your best friend on. Your freaking your son. Your daughter. Your you get to put everybody on. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. but everybody wants it for themselves. Everybody wants to just do it. Do by you themselves. think a lot of people want to eat by themselves to take everything by themselves instead of like share it with people? Uh, I think everyone wants to share it with people, but I think social media and stuff has created this this all for one, one for all type of mentality. This dog eats dog world mentality which is kind of weird because like how we were talking about networking yeah. it's kind of fucked because like we have exponential resources i have so many followers right now i could go and raise that 100 racks to go buy another house and put everybody on but people wouldn't want to buy into me because oh well i don't want to do it with him or maybe i don't believe in it or maybe he's doing something with the money and not doing that it's because that's a or, that's a scarcity mindset that's like, a scarcity what, what you're talking about is an abundant mindset where right you, where you know it, there's no limited resources there's, there's just so much of everything around this world that, that we all can be blessed with that 100 you know I mean? yeah, yeah. And, then, and then the scarcity comes in yeah and people just get scared like it's so crazy no disrespect to anybody you know everyone lives there there's no disrespect but to me it is insane that i know people in hamilton that haven't even been out of ontario to me, that's that's crazy. Mm. You could just hop in a car, and you don't. Even, you could get on a bus. 
Like, it's just insane that you want to live in one place and not experience anything, you know, certain circumstances. Yes. Yeah, yeah of course. Everybody has different circumstances. Yeah. But if I wanted to be an asshole, fuck, nothing was given to me. Yeah, my parents, blah, blah, blah. That Nothing was given to me, though. Yeah. I had to work for everything that I have. Like, I, my parents wouldn't even give me. There was this one time with my, with my cousin. He came down. We went to a party. My dad said, no, my mom said, call your dad at 12 o'clock. I'll come pick you up. And we're far. We're like, we're like 30 minute, 25 minute drive. We're far, right? And I'm like 15, 16. Yeah. I get to the party. We get drunk at the party, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We're like, ah, oh, no, I hope my dad will pick me up. I'm just taking advantage of my dad at this point. I'm like, yeah, 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 he'll, yeah. he'll wake up and pick up his son. <laughs> and, and, and it's not me by myself. I'm with my cousin. So like, yeah, like he's, he's going to come pick he'll us up. He'll get us, yeah. We call him at like one o'clock, an hour later. No answer. Ring. Call yeah. again. My mom said, Told you to call dad at 12. <laughs> Me and my cousin had to walk. I don't know if you guys know Hamilton, the mountain. Oh. We had to walk <laughs> like 30 minutes. Yeah, it's to, and then we had to walk up the mountain. <laughs> uh, my basic point is like, everyone has their thing. Everyone has their thing. But like, nothing was given to me. And you hear all everyone's success stories. Nothing was given to them. Nothing. Just get up and do it. Like, I'm just, back to what I said. It's just the scarcity mindset. I, I can't believe no one's been out of Ontario. I, I just don't get that. Yeah. I, I don't get that, man. Like, there's so, there's so much beauty in the world. Like, and there's so many places I've been that I, and so many places I haven't been. And it's like, wow. And I'm sure those places, like, probably have a, a imprint on you and, like, like change your perspective. So, and, well, being an artist and being, like, yeah. in, in the music, I need those places. Yeah. I need that. I need that inspiration. I need those places. I need to see different cultures. And come on, we're we're bumping bad money. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, really? I would have never bumped bad money <laughs> if I never be, lived in Mexico and shit. Yeah. Like, Bro, talk about that, right? Because, like, you brought it up earlier. Like, I'm in a reggaeton scene, and I don't think people know it. But, like, talk, like, how'd you get there? Uh, well, like I was saying earlier, I was out in Cuba doing a music video. We're in this club. It was dope too. Cause there was like this VIP area and it was like, it was probably like, a, like this big. Yeah. And there was like a two way glass so you could see out, but they couldn't see in. We're chilling, blah, blah, blah. I walk in. I'm looking like I'm big boss. Everyone's like, Oh, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> we sit down. Everyone, we're buying bottles, blah, blah, blah. Uh, my buddy Lack that I was working with. Um, he's like, yo, you know who that is? Blah blah blah. I'm like, who's that? He's like, that's Bad Bunny, yo. And blah blah. So, anyways, we were. I was supposed to do a song with Bad Bunny for five thousand dollars. Who the fuck's Bad Bunny? At that I don't, time, I don't know who the f who is Bad Bunny. And I'm not even into this music scene. I don't know this music scene. Damn. I don't. I don't know the record. I don't speak a lick of Spanish. Like bonjour, that's French, <laughs> Julius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is like you know what I'm <laughs> saying. That's true. That's like, not uh, so like, yeah, and I, I, I missed out on that opportunity, and then I found out who Bad Bunny was, and then um, bigger than Drake now, yeah, bigger than Drake. <laughs> that boy is that boy he's is different. That boy, yeah. is, his body's different. <laughs> like, he's different. <laughs> I like what Bad <laughs> Bunny <laughs> likes. <laughs> but uh, no, and then like, I just uh, the Afro beats started blowing because that's what it was. It was the EDM. Yeah. And then it was the Afro beats. And then the Afro beats were blowing. And then the reggaeton came around. And everybody's loving reggaeton. And then Peppa's is coming out. And all these like oh, big, Peppa, huge, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. All these big records. And I just dived into it. And like I, I like I was in Mexico for a while because that's where me and my wife would go meet each other. And we got a place over there. So like I just really friggin' started adopting that that culture. Um, and yeah. and that uh like i've always loved uh what is it the yeah 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 they don't do halloween they do dia the they, muerta, they, which dead, is like, yeah they yeah, celebrate exactly. the dead and blah 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 i've been into that yeah i've been into that but like i just it just yeah i just freaking resonated a lot better than that i just resonated culture. with like i can't wait to go to africa now and like, see, I, the only thing with Africa though is that's a long flight, boy. Oh yeah, you oh, can't have me on no flight for eighteen hours. Yeah, like, that's crazy. Twenty hours. Oh, that's a long. Flight. You're not a flyer, eh? I, no, I am a flyer, but I, I, I get panic attacks and anxiety True. attacks. I was on friggin' the flight back from Turks. Okay. I think it was like three hours or two hours. I fell asleep. I woke up. My ears are popped. I can't even hear my fucking self talk. I can't hear myself. Talk. I'm like, yo, what's going on? Trying to blow my nose. I'm trying to yawn. Can't yawn. Now I'm sweating. Yeah, I'm like, 
I can't lose my hair and I'm not Beethoven. I can't, I can't do that, like I need to know what I'm playing. Like, yeah. and then I stand up and I go to the back. Like I, I sound like a bitch too. And I stand up, go to the back, and I say to the people at the back, I'm like, yo, freaking. Uh, I'm, I'm like I'm melting the words like yeah. I can't speak anymore. Yeah, I'm yeah. Mute. And I'm like I can't hear. They're like blow your nose, blah blah blah. Do this. I'm like it's not working. I'm tripping out. Yeah, yeah. And then and then I and then in my head I'm like oh I'm stuck on a capsule in the sky. Yeah yeah. I can't Ooh. go get no fresh air. That shit adds I'm, up big yo, quickly. Quick. Quickly. I'm like I gotta go to the bathroom. Boom boom boom. I run to the bathroom. Bro, shirt off. Splash myself with water. Yeah. Finally one ear pops. I'm like, damn, I'm alive. Yeah. I thought I was going to pass out in this bitch. Like, I get anxiety attacks hard. That, that reminds me of, bro, my first flight ever. Like, like yeah. as, like, not a child, right? Like, a baby. But, like, when I was older, I was flying from, from London to Houston to El Salvador, right? Mm. The first flight from London to Houston, bro. Like, no disrespect. Was that, like, five hours? Yeah, it, yeah, it was like it was like, like four, three and a half. Hours, yeah, like three and a half hours. Yeah. But like it was a small plane; it wasn't one of those big planes. And I was mm. sat, I was sat beside like a large lady, bro. Like oh a yeah, large lady. Bro. So <laughs> man's like me you and see Dorbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what's <laughs> those? That's <laughs> <laughs> what you're talking about. Literally, bro. Like, like, like she's sitting beside me. I'm on the window. My head's pressed on the window. My body. <laughs> pressed this guy the said he's <laughs> bro. And I'm then, picturing the biggest woman right now. Bro, like, what? Yeah. Yeah. How is this? The biggest woman. But anyways, that got me nauseous as. Fuck, bro. Right. This is the first time on a plane, right? So, like, I, I go to the bathroom. How old were you? Um, bro, I was pretty, like, I was pretty older still. I think it was 26. Oh, shit. 20, yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. 22. 22. What you was 20, it? 22. If it was... I was 22, I think. I'm 22, 21. Anyways, I go to the bathroom. Same thing. Take off my shirt. Start yakking everywhere, bro. And like, oh, so bro, you know. I know. I know exactly what you're talking about, bro. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesse, so, that's yeah. crazy. No, where, but, where, where is it? It was from Houston to where? Uh, it was from London to Houston and then Houston to El Salvador. How far is El Salvador? El Salvador, it's it's sixteen, fifteen. No, in total, no, no, no it, it's close. In total, America. it's five hours. I think it's like two and a half hours or three to Houston, and then uh, from there to there. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Central America. Yeah. Yeah, I need someone from El Salvador. Good news, his, bad news. Bad news. Yeah. Oh fuck! Not him, but his homeboy. Oh shit! Oh, always got scooped up. That boy gone. Man, it's crazy. Well, even it's crazy. It's like even the world we live in, like things are happening like this, left, right, and center. I know, right? but we live in a beautiful place, bro. Yeah, like a beautiful. Like I know, like like I'm trying to go to America right now, obviously for my wife and myself. Yeah, but other than that, um, we live in such a beautiful. Like I was sipping wine with my homegirl the other day. I'm like, look at us sitting prissy, sipping wine, get to eat our food, blah blah blah, do all this stuff. And there's places in the world that don't get shit. Yeah. And they just get shit on, you know, like, and we forget like how blessed we are, you know. So many. Mind you, can I get a little, can I get a refill, please? Yeah, yeah, we'll get a refill. We'll can get a refill. refill. Yeah, yeah, you can, yeah, um, you can you. yeah. We're so blessed, man. And it's, it's just, I think we're too blessed, in a way. You think it kind of like disassociates us with reality in a way, like yeah, like yeah, like it, it, in the way that you know, like it's like us. I when when we were on that that flight and we were, we're like God please God like we're 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 dying we're dying for an answer doesn't matter if you're atheist or whatever your religion you're asking God for something <laughs> or when you get yeah. drunk and then you go home and you're like I'm never drinking again <laughs> like you know what I mean it it takes those <laughs> it takes those like those 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 dire moments yeah. to be able to like really realize like damn we're blessed like we're lit. You know what I mean? Fuck. Yeah, like our problems are, are like not to drink again Minuscule. next Saturday. Minuscule, well, yeah. Did crazy. I not get it? Fuck. That Wi-Fi didn't work for me. I'm good. Yeah. yeah. But so it's have like, Wi-Fi. damn, yeah. I need my Wi-Fi. Yeah. yeah. Where, where's my Wi-Fi? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, yo, like, respect, bud. Yeah. It's like, uh, you're about to cheers. Salute. <laughs> cheers. But yo, you, uh, you mentioned your family there, bro. You know, your wife, your, your kid, like, uh, explain it. Like, how important is that to you, bro? It's everything, bro. Everything. I love my wife. I love I love my son. Uh, it's not biologically my son, but he's my stepson. Of course, yeah. Basically, like, that's my, that's my little nigga. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, I haven't seen them since last September. Jesus. Yeah, it's crazy, man. We got married, and then um, what happened was I flew from here to Calgary during the COVID time because... Calgary was the only time with the uh, with no uh, customs. Yeah, nothing. Customs. Yeah. So I flew there. I had to stay a night in Calgary. Woke up, 
went to custom. Uh, they they bring me into customs every time. I'm black with tattoos. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> you know, it up. Yeah, I'm, you know what I'm saying. I'm registered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, I, and, and like they see where I fly. They see what I do. Blah blah blah. Like I'm, I'm a flag. I'm always flag. <laughs> no, it's like, it, bro. It sucks, bro. It sucks. Oh, and it's, it sucks because it's like. They, they, the plane has to wait for you. So I'm holding up all these people <laughs> waiting in customs. And uh, they would. It's like 100% of the time you go to through customs. Every, every time you're not. Every like, single time. Hey, even coming back. What's the stupidest thing time. they've asked you? So watch. Yeah, we're going to see my wife. They say, Where are you going? I say, I'm going to go see my wife and my son. Blah, blah, blah. They're like, Oh, have you signed the papers like to be able to stay here, whatever? And I'm like, uh, Yeah, uh, we're in the process of it. Um, then they, they search me up. They're like, oh, you're a musician. I'm like, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. They're like, you do music down there? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, fuck, I'm a musician. I do music everywhere. God damn it. I'll do music in the middle of... St- I'll busk outside Walmart. Music, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do music everywhere. Rockstar. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Rockstar and, lifestyle. Uh, <laughs> and then... Uh, and then they saw... <laughs> I wish you could just have a video and tie right now. This man's scooting under the shit. He's trying to get good picks. That's yeah, how I fuck with him. That was so good. I thought he was trying to lay down, and then I saw him like doing the backwards worm. I was like, that was so We good. got hard workers in the back. That's yeah, it. real shit. Shout out to Vince. <laughs> yeah, trust me. Um, yeah, then they said. Oh, you do tattoos? And because my name's C- Julius C- like Ju- like Caesar, Caesar tattoos. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I go by Caesar. They're like, this is the dumbest thing they've ever asked. They said, do you? Oh, you do tattoos at the Caesars? <laughs> Nigga, what? I don't got a visa. <laughs> I like, how is the one of the biggest casinos gonna let this random black guy come in here and just <laughs> tattoo all these people with no friggin' visa? Yeah. Like that makes no sense. Yeah. Like, anyway, so they turn me away. Call my lawyer. Like I said, me and wifey used to meet in Mexico all the time. Another stop in that? Huh? Another stop in no, that? No, no. What happened was COVID happened. And then uh, we had to get rid of our place out there because like, we're paying for this place that we're not at. Yeah. And then uh, basically, like, just right now, like, my wife's just on a super, super grind. Just trying to freaking do her thing. Like, she works really, really hard. Um, so... She's just like right now is not a good time to meet up yeah. and whatever because I'm trying to work really really hard too. So when I get back, I respect there, that though about your relationship, bro. Like you both hard. are grinding though, and you both are working on. We're like, trying, man. That's sick, but though. it's really hard. Like especially emotionally for our relationship. Yeah, it's it's, it's probably like I would have probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to go through emotionally and mentally. It's yeah. like it's really hard. Like really hard, mm-hmm. uh, especially because she loves me. I love her. I love her son. Like it's really, really hard, man. But yeah. uh, shit, that balance that I was talking about. Yeah. Once this shit's over, and we can say, look what we've been. Nothing stopping us now. Yeah, we're on. We, That's we're, gonna be special. Yeah, special, bro. Jeez. I, bro, I'm gonna ball my eyes out. Yeah, bet, Once bro. they give me my green card. And Jeez. I go back. Yeah. I'm balling my eyes out, bro. Once I yeah. hug her and hug myself, I am balling. I might ball all day. They might tell me to leave because I'm gonna be crying. So much. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, that's dope though. Like, yeah, you know, it's, that's it's, special, bro. That's that's real though. You know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, and like um, and, I was just say, is that like a big part of your why? Like on onto like like why you're so because you well, you're very talented, bro. And like I just met you today, bro. And I yeah. feel like I know so much about you, and I feel like you've Respect. accomplished so fucking much. Bro. Thank you, brother. You know what I mean? Thank you. Um, it never used to be a big part of my why. It never used to be. Mm. Uh, now it is. I could say like. That her and that boy have made me become a man and become like have morals that I need to provide. I need to be alpha. I need to get things done. I need to be a man. And like, I would probably wouldn't have found my manlyhood like that without her or without that boy. Like, obviously, like my dad and my mom, they show me, but like, it's not the same thing. Yeah. So they, they give me the morals growing up and how to be a man, how to be blah, blah, blah. But they never really showed me. How like to applicate it to, to someone? To, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I hear that because like obviously like like I have a fiance. You know what I mean? Yeah, and like it's that strength that Love they give voice. you. <laughs> yo yo, no, but like that's yo, that. you're just mad. Bro. I know, but yo, I see you in the corner. Yo, I don't. Yeah, yo, I don't stay, I don't stay it's salty. It's okay. We all know I don't why stay why salty. It's different. Why is he getting on our wave? No, it's funny too. We'll never see him again. I'll be like, yo, I'm inside, yo. Yeah, I'm just chilling. He's making up excuses. About where he's at and shit. Honestly, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna stay happy. 
And that's the best way to put it. That's yeah. It, it, it'll take whatever it is. And that's the thing. It may like I think that's a lot of people. Lying, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Julius, I thought we were on the same team, fam. <laughs> but no, even straight up, like I'll tell them to everybody else. It's like find your happiness within yourself. And I'm telling you, you work so hard, people will see it. They'll gravitate to you, and that's all you need to worry about. That was hard for me too. Like when me and my wife were going through some things. Yeah. She's like, "How are you gonna love me if you don't love yourself?" Because I really didn't. No. Yeah. Like. I, Nigga, I love the shit out of myself. I love myself. Like, I make up with myself in the mirror, nigga. Like, <laughs> I love myself, but, but I don't push that out, you know? And yeah. deep down, I might not. But, like, just like what you said, it's and it's such a hard thing to say. Like, you know, like, find your happiness, whatever makes you happy, blah, blah, blah. Love yourself before you love it. It's such a hard thing to really comprehend, for me at least. It was hard to comprehend that. Like, be like, yo, man, like, fucking... Love yourself, and then you don't need that. You don't need a wife. Yeah. You don't yeah. need money. You don't need card. You don't need they. You just need you. Yeah. You just need like. But it's so hard to think that. Shit! All I need is me. Yeah. Yeah. It's that easy. All I just need is me. But then what happens to everybody else? And what happens to the love that I give everybody else? Because all I needed was me. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's back to that good. It's that balance, bro. But it's crazy because like when you love someone else. Like if you let's say like you really love someone else, by you loving yourself, right. you're actually loving them more. Right. Yeah. Because you're that's the best version of yourself for them. That that's true. You know what I mean? That is so, true. So too. it's kind of like that. Like uh, yeah, no, it starts with yourself though. Like it exactly does. what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. You'll find your person. They will come. It's like that's what, like, we found ours. Bro. I was about to yeah, say yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. You'll <laughs> find your person. We I'm we still, good. Yo, I'm still sharpening my spirits. Okay. To be real. Yo, build coming it up. up. Build it up. The javelin gonna be there. So you yeah. have you have a couple like on the roster or what? No, 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 no. Don't don't put them in that box. Don't put them. Listen, listen, listen. Because the roster's going to hear. Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 I'm no, no, on a roster? Nah, no, 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 no. <laughs> nah, yo, I'm going to cut this real quick because I got to. <laughs> so otherwise, I'm going to be burned. But I'm going to say this. Nah, single, solo, that's it. <laughs> I can't think you so Lonely. <laughs> I can't think you I'm so lonely. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm Mr. Lonely. That's good, though. That's good, though. I have no bar. No, no, no. But, but yo, you'll find someone, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's almost like I got to clap for myself at the end. Yes, you know? sir. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. No, I guess let's fucking skirt, skirt yo, out this of this fucking corner. Yeah, like, we're out fuck, of there. Fuck, man. We're but yeah. out of there. No, let's, um, I guess let's let's dive into, um, like, obviously you've met a lot of high profile people. You know what I mean? Um, which which person, I guess, has been the most realist and gave you some. I'm going to get tired here, yeah. Ew, it's getting sturdy on it now, too. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, but like, yeah, like you obviously met some high profile people. Like, which which person has gave uh, made a biggest impact on your life? Like, in a sense of like advice, or, you know, like being super genuine and just making sure that you're doing well. Oh, shit, man. And I'm, there's probably more than one. So, there is more than one. There's a lot. There's a lot. Other than like family, uh, I'd have to say like the label that I was signed to, 111. Prem and Ricky and Lack and Sash and all these guys, uh, they gave me, and then my homie Tommy, fuck, he fucked up his life though. But I love that nigga to death forever. They 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 gave me some some advice in life that just like my like just to created and molded me mm-hmm. to be strong and to like get shit done, and just be a man, you know. Uh, but uh fuck i wouldn't just, they're high profile i would like if, if, we're, if we're talking high high profile bro to be totally honest with you nobody high profile like that celebrities that i met and blah 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 or millionaires well there's a couple millionaires that i've met <laughs> that have given me some good advice <laughs> but uh like celebrity wise no nothing special there no most celebrities are in their own world they're you know what i mean like they'll give you a one never give up the fuck that mean? Never. Give up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? You're gonna give me a play by play. I would never give up. Man. Believe in yourself. <laughs> I do, and I'm not there. What you, <laughs> shit, like, what, what are you telling me? Yeah. But uh, that celebrity wise, nobody, no, uh, no one's giving me anything really. Uh, like even working with Scott Storch, I was, was with him all day. He never really gave me any advice either. Just uh, like work. He was. Just, we were just working. We just worked. That's all we did. We just worked. No advice. No 
high conversations. Do you think that might be some of the best advice you get? Is just like, let's just get down and we work. What is that? Yeah, it's not really. like so. Like, if for example, it's like why, like why tell you something? Let, let me show you how to do it. Let's okay, in that in that you way, you know what I mean. In like, that fuck aspect. it. Like, why am I gonna tell you, yo, Julius? This is how you do it. Fuck it. Let me show you how we do in it. That let's aspect, just do yeah. it. You know? In that aspect, yeah. But like, he was doing the same thing we doing back here. Yeah. Like, what did I just watched a thing on Nab? And Nab was saying, seventy uh, percent. No, no, he was saying something about uh, the song "Bees in the Trap." Bees in the Trap. He recorded that in his mom's house. Yeah, bro. Yeah. On like a I, broken interface and shit like that. That's a huge record. Travis Scott's on that record. Yeah. He recorded that in his house, at his mom's house. That's fucked. On a broken interface. Like, we're recording this in a hotel room. Yeah. Like, you don't need all that stuff. Especially today with technology, you don't need all that, all that shit, you know? You just need good minds, good inspiration, good whatever, good product. And you run with it. You know what I mean? But... Yeah, on that, yeah, that advice thing, shit. No, what did Connie say? <laughs> <laughs> you, you gotta you, get there? <laughs> what, did, what did Connie, can I say Connie's name? Am, am, I, am I allowed to, like, in, in today's age? Are right? you allowed to say Connie? Sorry, producer, For, what'd you say? Yeah, exactly. No, but isn't that, that, isn't, that, that done? isn't that crazy, though? That's crazy. Because we talked about it yeah. earlier, and, like, it wasn't even that, like... Not about <coughs> getting into it. It's about having that discussion without any of, any of us getting mad. It was just like, oh, this is the discussion. And I like, know. We had and you know what's the crazy part about it? Is that, like, I'm even saying this stuff. And, like, see, Kanye is unfiltered. He's unfiltered. He doesn't give a fuck. 100%. What we talked about earlier, which a lot of people probably talked about earlier, that stays off camera. Now that we're doing this, I can't. I, I want to. I want to, too. I want to, too. I, I, but I, I do. I, yeah, yeah. But like, <laughs> no, no, we really can't. I know. No, I know. No, I know, exactly. I know. And, and people that are watching, it's not because we're scared. No. Nah. It's not because I'm scared. <laughs> Tell them. <laughs> Tell them. <laughs> it's, it's because, like, there's so many people that have different views and blah, 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 like we said earlier, yeah. that we don't want to offend anybody. You know, I have Jewish friends. I have fucking black, black friends, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You, like, they don't hate you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, but we just don't want to offend any of our viewers. And this is a platform. That that's what Kanye doesn't get is a platform. Yeah. No, no, it's not the platform. He doesn't get that he's on a platform. Yeah, yes. He doesn't get, get that you. there's other people. He thinks it's just us right now, yeah. and we can say whatever. And I, whatever these people hear, that these people hear, they better take it how it comes. Yeah. But yeah, let them take it how it comes. Yeah, be, but there's a time and a place for everything. And yeah. like, I love Kanye to that. That nigga's dope. He's one of my greatest inspirations. Same here. Great influence. Like, I love that guy. But and I love his music, and I love his mind, and I love a lot of things that he's talking about. But you can't be saying certain shit about certain people. Yeah. Like the man said, like, you know what I said earlier yeah, about blah, yeah, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah. The man said, like, I, I think Gritler is a good guy, blah, blah, blah. Huh? Yeah. Like, you can't say that out loud. Yeah. Yeah. You can't say Especially that out loud. Especially knowing, like, you know, like, like the influence you have, and you know right. they're going to clip that. You know they're going to put that against 100%. you. 100%. You, know? you can't say that well, shit. Yeah. Well, even to the fucked up part is, like, somebody could literally come in here, grab that one part right there where you said, like, oh, I like Hitler, and, like, turn it to the worst right. thing ever that you've ever said. But guess what? Out of context. Like, you know what I mean? Listen yeah. to the full dialect of what you said. Right. And then you'll actually get the full story. But you don't get that. Yeah, but you know that the harmful, like, the harm in that, why that happens, is because we get ten bits. We yeah. get fi- we get fifteen, sixteen seconds. Yeah. Now we got like sixty seconds on Instagram, blah blah blah. But we get little tidbits. That's what we get. So we can't put the whole thing on. We take the the greatest parts, the, the most controversial parts, the clickbait parts, and then we run that. And then people take that and like, like uh, you know, like six buzz and all that shit and blah blah blah. Right. Like you forget that the, 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 these are people our age. These people our age just spreading news, and everyone goes there like it's a real news source. Yeah, it's, even the new real news is not a real news source. <laughs> no, it's trash. You know what I'm trash. saying? Like yeah. it's not a real. But they take this stuff and they blah 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 and they spit it out to us. And then everyone's, oh, did you see this? Did you see that? Everyone likes it. Everyone reshares it. Everyone. And then everyone gets on that. Le- Bro, the the way that the media works to to run your 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 narrative of everything, and they got it down to a fucking science. Yeah, and, yeah. We, and us humans, like we were talking about earlier, we're just like, bro, like, like. We're kind of stupid in the fact that we have such short attention spans that, like, hubris. that's what's actually that's gonna. The word. That's hubris. what we like. Hubris, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like, hubris, bro. We freaking like my thing about being hubris is like on some real shit though. Glasses <laughs> come off. And, 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 some real shit. knows real. That's some real shit. Like we can't breathe underwater. <laughs> if you put your head under the sink right now, you can't breathe. Some facts. You're not. So lying. why are we making submarines? 
to go deep, deep, deep down <laughs> into that place. Why are we making rocket ships to go out to? Why? Why aren't we good here? Well, well that that comes back to war and shit. Everybody yeah. wants and to humans, be too, like, we have such a vast regret. Yeah, no, but I see where you're yeah. coming from. He's like, why are we not content with what we have? Yeah, be right here. You know? yeah. yeah, if I fall and drown and, and drown in a puddle. The fuck? You know what the fuck? <laughs> My one homie I was chilling with last night, he's like, yo, are you content with where you are in life? And are you realizing what's going on around you? And are you happy with that? So yeah. coming to this moment where you guys said this, like, why aren't we happy just with what's going on right in front of us? I'm happy with everything, bro. I'm happy right now. I don't live an hour later. No? I, li- I live, if like, we have this thing set up. Yeah, for time. Did yeah. I really, like, take it serious? No, I didn't. And not because I don't take you guys seriously or I don't love you guys. I didn't take it serious because I didn't know if I would live to be here today. Fair. That's I fair. live. I live every hour of my life. Every hour. If I made it to that hour, whew, another sixty minutes. Here we go. Let's, let's go. run this sixty minutes and let's get everything we can do in sixty minutes and run it and run it. And if I wake up tomorrow, if I don't wake up tomorrow, at least I lived in that little bit of moment of the time. What did Pusher say in that song? He said, "He said drug dealer er- era, blah blah blah." Uh, imagine how many faces still reflect in that mirror Jeez. how many people get to s- still look in the mirror and be like yeah I'm here I'm alive <laughs> you know what I mean like we've lost so many people in our life we're old enough that we could say a handful of people that amazing, we've lost amazing people too yeah, that's you know funny. what I'm saying yeah. did they have to go did they no our time's not our time's, our time's it's borrowed it's bo- <laughs> I said it Bob, yeah. our time's borrowed bro and memories don't live like people do they always remember you. <laughs> yeah, whether teens are good or bad. Yeah. It's just the memories that you... Boom, 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 boom. boom, 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 boom. One more class. <laughs> <Let's head up. laughs> well, that's yeah. fire, bro. Like, but um, no, yeah. So it's like... I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm always content. I'm always happy and content, bro. Like, there's no reason not to be. There really is no reason not to be. Do you yeah. have a goal at this point? Because, like, especially to how you... tomorrow. Live. That's it? I'm just Plain chasing the sun. Chasing the sun, bro, to see tomorrow. Obviously, I want to see my family, and that's my goal. Yeah. But these are minuscule, momentary goals. I'm trying to, I'm trying to see tomorrow. I'm trying to live. I'm trying to, you know, show my parents this. So. But like, even that stuff, that's all ego. Yeah. I'm trying to take my parents and show them this and blah blah blah. Like, I remember when we rented a Rolls Royce and we put, and I said, "Mom, come inside." She saw the Rolls Royce. She was like, "Ah." <laughs> you know what I mean that's the same with the Kardashians being <laughs> like, like, yeah. but you got to provide that moment though yeah it, which is great yeah. you know which is great but that's still like my parents don't care about that shit yeah, yeah. or they say they don't care about that shit <laughs> <laughs> but, like, but like I don't know man I just I just want to create experiences Bro, how do you uh, stay so uh, like so grounded and so humble? You know what I mean. Like you've obviously experienced a lot. You've yeah. you've had a lot of success. Clearly, I think ayahuasca had a lot to do with it. Yeah, yeah. you've done it. How, how was yeah, that experience, I think bro? It had a lot to do with it. I was everything. Like that's why I call myself nobody. Because yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm you. I'm you. I'm you. I'm you. I'm I'm everybody. Oh, your Instagram handle. That's yeah, I'm see. everybody, bro. Ah. I'm nobody. I'm not. I'm not even myself. I'm nobody. So what? What made you get there though? And Tell us the experience, bro. Yeah, like, like what? What, what made you realize you're nobody? It was like. When from what I can remember from the trip, I was a frog, I was a snake, I was a star, I was I was just all these different animals, and I was seeing everything. <laughs> Who's over to laugh at me? <laughs> I know, right? Your own so, homie, your own homie. I know. Why are you laughing like that? <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I was everything. And uh, and then I did this this whole thing. And then when I came back, I was like, yo, I'm really shit. I'm really nothing. Yeah. In this world, I am not. There's somebody dying right now that we don't know. There's somebody being born that we don't know. I'm nothing. I'm nobody. But I, I'm everyone and everything. When did you do this? Like, how long ago was this? Like, I don't know, eight years ago, nine years ago. And it still hits you. Have you, have you done, like, like mushrooms or DMT or anything like that? Or yeah, just yeah, yeah. I used to be on mushrooms. Like, yeah. I used to do mushrooms a lot. Is it, like, similar kind of, like... Not even close. Not, eh? Not even close. Yeah. Not, not, not even close. Like, take... Have you ever done the heroic dose? 
For sure. Uh, I, I, don't know. Know. I, I, I have them. You've done, done, done like seven grams, six grams, yeah, eight grams? Yeah, I've Yeah, it fucked me up pretty hard. Yeah, it, like, fuck, uh, it, it could it, actually it, fuck your whole shit up. It, um, so, like, this is, I, I, I'll say it straight up. Like, I remember I did it with the homies. Like, I did probably, like, close to half he, he ounce. Said, he said, I'm going to say this straight up. <laughs> I remember I did it with the homies. Nah. <laughs> you were no, home, I, I don't know where this is going. <laughs> no, no, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying like, straight up. Not even this. <laughs> like, there's a homie in the room. He actually, like, he had oh, a bad. Oh, shit. He had, he, had a bad, he had a bad trip on it while we did it. And I remember, like, I was the last one to get it. Because, like, they were all having a bad trip. And I was laughing at them like a joker. Right. Just, like, living off their... Their emotions, almost like they're having a bad time. I was having a good time. Your status. So, so the, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, hundred percent. And then when I was by myself, when these guys fell asleep, that's when everything came in on me. Where I'm like, oh, I'm a piece of shit. Da 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 da. Oh, and, now you're uh, uh, Yeah, so you start eating yourself alive, and I'm oh, like, yeah. and I was by myself, and like, when you're by yourself, you can't run from that. You can't. So you really come to a term where it's like. Do I kill myself or do I? No, <laughs> Honestly, it's one of two ways. Yeah, yeah, do I sure. do I kill myself or do I fix it? And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I took the other one. I was like, I'll fix this right now because I don't want to exit yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, yeah, I was fucked up because I remember these guys are all asleep. And I'm trying to wake them up and nothing. Good for you. And I'm like, fuck. No, good for you, asshole. Good for <laughs> you. <laughs> no, 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 just make it, nobody's waking up. Yeah, like, right, yeah. turn, I'm fucker. tripping. I'm like, boys, Your wake turn. up. No, everyone's like. Mm. Your turn. So, yeah. But it was uh, it was good. Like, it was good realization feel, you know, at the end of it, right? Like, going back to that heroic dose, sometimes you get there, takes you so far, and it'll bring you right back home. I'll bring you right back. I honestly think that shrooms is. I think drugs like shrooms and stuff like that show us a world that we don't know like you know i'm into the spiritual shit blah blah blah. i yeah. can't see all that shit i can't see demons being sent or demons coming in or de- angels being protecting or i can't see that i can feel it maybe yeah. but i feel like shrooms really break down this wall because like if we're all sober right now and then one person does shrooms or whatever or acid say and they see like the patterns move and like things on the floor who's to say that that's not really there yeah. Just because we can't see it, but they can really see it. They see something. It, it altered their mind, yeah. Their mind's altered, but they can really see yeah. something going on. But we can't. So does it doesn't mean it's real or not. What makes me think about that is like uh, everyone who has a DMT experience, they always see that little green goblin, right? Yeah. So why is it that everyone's experience is the same little like person they'd see, right? So like you said, like is it yeah. another, another realm or is it something is, like that? that I think it really into? is. I think it's another realm, bro. Yeah. I think I think I think everything gets brought like. Fuck, I'm not even going to be a weird conspiracy this month. Say but it, bro. Say I don't it. Know. I, I don't it. even think oxygen is real. Explain that, fam. I don't think it's real. You see you see Matrix and stuff like that? You think that... What do you say? You think that's oxygen you're breathing? You think, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, because if, 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 if pain is only a neural thing, if you can c- disconnect pain, how is pain even real? If, if you can... Di- so how is oxygen even... Yeah, we need oxygen to breathe. But how do we know oxygen is real? And how do we know oxygen is not a, a drug that's keeping us all on the same plane? We, we like these are these are see, yeah, these are high like, questions. When you, like, think, when you like, think like that and you let the mind, and we'll run. never know the answer yeah. to it. Yeah, you know well, why what I mean? Yeah. Why not ask them? Right? Yeah, but Super why not? Well, the thing but, is, in the reality, bro, like the, like we don't know the answers to a lot of things. We don't know the answers to nothing. like to a lot of things. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm sure the higher ups or like the governments or this, they know the fucking answers. Yeah, and when everybody talks about like Illuminati or Masons or blah 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 like my family's Masons I got mad Masons in my family and it's not what you think it is but obviously with anything or any or any secret or any there's always hires that blah 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 but my thing is like to be on the elite side for a moment when you have a child you try to shelter your child from the world that you know it all the the bad and the evil in the world you try to shelter your Believe in Santa Claus, but the moment you try to shelter your, your child from it. Why does nobody think that they like, think all these people are evil and shit? No, they have family. They have daughters. They have they're somebody's son. They're somebody's mother. They're somebody's blah blah blah. Whatever. Maybe they're just sheltering us, bro. That's like they may not be that evil. They're just like, yo, we can't show you this shit. Cause look how you guys act, fucking when Kanye says he likes Hitler. Like, <laughs> like, why would we show you anything else? Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, you want answers to all this shit? Fuck, you can't. You can't I handle know the truth. <laughs> Yo, you know what I'm what saying? Like, uh, Kanye with um, what's his face? Uh, you don't got the answer, Sway. Oh, you yeah, don't, got, you don't got the answer, Sway. Yeah. 
It's funny. Yeah. They didn't even recently just be like, "Sweet, so you got the answer." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, he pulled back on it, and yeah. but like, I, that's growth, no? It's when you can that's come, growth. right? Like, where that's you can growth. come back and say, "Yo, I was wrong." Yeah. Right. Like, I think that also too is like, it's okay to be wrong. It's okay, but accept you're wrong. Yeah, but people don't want to be wrong. It's a fucked up part, right? I'm fine with being wrong. I actually like being wrong. Tell me I'm wrong, and I'll tell you why I'm right. No, I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, but no, it's like, yeah. Fuck no, but it's it. like that kind of that mindset of like, um, like. Everything's your fault, you know what I mean? Like in the sense of like if things aren't going right in your life, if you blame it on yourself, right. like, like you actually solve it. You right. know what I mean? So like, yeah, it is my fault, my fault, you know what I mean? Real shit. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. People are just people are fallible. People are freaking I love I love humans. I love what like our anatomy, our biology, our chem- it's crazy. It's crazy. Can't what we are it. is Can't it's ridiculous. It. Our friggin' the way everything works, cardiovascular system, our respiratory system, or everything that we are, our must like it's it's friggin' ridiculous how we are built. Yeah, and how you all, all of us, used to be a fucking liquid in our dad's balls <laughs> and fucking <laughs> uh, egg in our mother's ovaries. Like, yeah. what the fuck? And now we're this, and now we're bones and flesh and speaking for ourselves. And like, we're the aliens. Straight like, up, fuck! Like yeah. what the hell? We came from liquid. <laughs> now, now here comes this fucking here comes a, a full human, <laughs> full human. Give it a couple, give it a couple years <laughs> for my spit. Now you spit on it. It'll now, be, it'll be a superhuman. Double the humor. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's, crazy. it's yeah. super true though. Like it's, it's nuts, bro. It's nuts. The, and, and like the the fact that like every day we regenerate. Every time we go to sleep, we regenerate, even though we're dying at the same time. Fucked up. That's fucked up for you yeah. to say. Do you know what I'm saying? Regenerating and dying at the same time. Regenerating and dying at the same time. But I guess it's like our phone battery, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. we charge Charging it, it gets up, yeah. but eventually the battery's going to fucking die. Yeah. Like, but it's just crazy, bro. Like, no, but like, even, like, wounds, like, you get cut, you fucking heal. Like, I like, know, you're like, like Wolverine. Like, yeah, you're tattooed up already. already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, right, yeah, we got tatted. Hey, we're still bleeding. Hey, I'm tatted now. Yo, I'm done, I'm no, don't yo, get me started I'm on done, that, yo. I'm done being bleeding. I'm, now. I'm yeah. done bleeding, exactly. so I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, we'll cover it up. We'll cover it up. We'll cover it up. But yeah, no, even, like, the wound thing, you know, it's like... And then that comes to the, the like, Wolverine and stuff like that. And, like, because... You see these movies like Selfless and, and all these movies, or uh, what's that one with the bird, or, or Limitless, or whatever. Limitless, yeah. yeah. Our biggest fear is death. I don't know why. I don't know why we care about dying, because we didn't care about being born. So why do we care about dying? You think because we don't know what's at the other side? I think it's because of that, and it's because we love. Life? And we have love. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. And I don't want to leave you. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to leave you people. You know what I mean? And like, yeah. I don't want to leave this life that I know. And like, I don't want to leave my parents. And I don't want to, you know, I think it's just we love. And we're afraid to leave that love. And we're afraid to hurt the people that we love from us leaving. Yeah. You know what's but, crazy, bro? Like, um, it's kind of weird. But like, I actually like accepted like death. And, yeah. like, and like the reason why like I've accepted it and don't I don't get anxious about it is because like I actually I went to Queens University I did um, kinesiology there there was a, there's one class that was anatomy class right yeah so I go kinesiology to kinesiology is like the body right yeah or yeah the like, mind, bio, like no like it's like, like, like biomechanics bio, the body. Yeah, 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 yeah 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 so so then um I go to anatomy class and uh, first day you know I'm I'm there I'm amped and then they fucking send us home with a box of bones fam like right. real bones oh, you should have brought me them <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> like, like real life humor real yeah, life yeah, bones though like real life so, so not only am I walking yeah, they're home real people's bones. with real people's bones. Yo, I need to go to school for the ECG. That's Bro, free bones. You know, but, yeah. <laughs> but I'm walking home and I'm like feeling dizzy low key because I'm like, like, it's the first time I've really felt like like death. Right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm walking into an auditorium where it's like a little kid's nervous system, like a real life nervous right, system. Right, right. I'm learning about the body, right? So like yeah. I, the first time I actually saw it like that, yeah. so it kind of made me sick. You know, I called my dad. Of course. My dad uh, went to med school in El Salvador, right? So he knew about that shit. Yeah, he's and like something like, And then he's like, wait a second, yeah, sit up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Straight up, you know, right? Because he was like, he was like, you got a box of bones. We had to go to the grave and we had to dig it ourselves. <laughs> and I was like, fuck, bro. Right there, I was like, yo, yo, I'm not scared of death. I'm not scared yeah, of fucking bones. I'm not right. scared of none of that shit. You know what I mean? But I get what you mean, though. It's it's like um, that's a lot of people's anxieties. But like you, it's it's tough to come to that realization where it's like you yeah. can't be scared. Of well, that, 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 that's like with the the ayahuasca too and the shrooms and stuff like that. Like my thing is like for anyone listening or whatever, like whenever you get afraid of death, just like be, just remember. How much you loved it here, you know. Yeah. You, didn't, you, you didn't ask to be born, True. but you love it here. Yeah, it was given to you, kind of. And it was, so when death comes, is that not given to you? 
Facts. Because <sighs> people die when yeah. th- their time is. Maybe it's now, maybe it's un- unnatural, maybe it's natural, whatever, but th- that's a gift. Yeah. You get to go. I know fucking crackheads. I know meth heads, heroin heads that are alive today. <laughs> well, moving, <laughs> shaking, like out here. You know what I'm saying? And then I know people that, I know fucking 13 year olds that get ran over by trucks and dragged down the street and then get in a fucking ambulance and on the way to the ambulance, the ambulance gets, I mean, on the way to the hospital, the ambulance gets hit by the car too. And that's how he dies. You know what I mean? Did he die? Nah. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, when did you tie? It's like, the, but it's a blessing at the same time. Yeah, that's sad. No, but I hear that because like at the end of the day, it's like, like without death, you can't appreciate life. Hundred percent. Uh, same thing we said about balance, right? Yeah. It's life like that, that 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 like something beautiful about that because it's like a conclusion of of a beautiful thing. It's, without that conclusion, that's dope. It's like, that's, you know, I like how you said it. it's a yeah, conclusion, yeah. of a beautiful thing. But there's a sequel. Yeah. 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 But also, yeah. all books have to end. You know. No, they don't. Oh, there's so many movies every that great, say Kevin every, great story doesn't have to have, oh, every great story doesn't have to have an ending? Not really, because every ending is a beginning. Hmm. If, let's talk Big Bang. So you know, the, every ending is a beginning. Huh? It always, it's just going to always recycle. It always restarts. There goes Ty <laughs> on the prom Mission Impossible. <laughs> 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 but no, yeah, everything, everything always recycled, bro. It's like the earth. It's like... I get vegans. I get, you know, because we fuck shit up. We ate way too many. Who us and meat eaters? Yeah, we ate way too. We, we <laughs> really. And then we stopped eating it, and we started fucking. We started freaking wearing their coat. <laughs> <laughs> we just started like we just said fuck it. Yeah. We started doing some fucked up shit. But uh, fuck, I can't get over Tom Cruise over here doing his own stunts. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you know, have like, this commitment, bro. That's a real one right there. But I get it. But at the same time, yeah. the Earth's going to do what the Earth's going to do, bro. If it's got to hit us with a hurricane, it's got to hit us with a blah, blah, blah. The Earth's its own... Uh, Microcosm, its own... No, like, when we get sick and, we, and then we fix it. It's its own system. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. It's like its own flu. System. Like, yeah. when we're the flu... Right, if we get too, we get them sick. The world right. can get rid of you, us. You don't have too many white blood cells. You don't have too many red blood cells. You mm. you got to balance them. Well, the world's ready, bro. We're yeah, gone. they're not worried about us. What? <laughs> you think the world's worried about us? You think you think Mother Nature's gonna be like, oh wait, the humans? Let's chill out. No. Let, 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 let's stop this. Earth. Let's stop the, the humans, man. The humans, no. The, 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 the Mother Nature's gonna take the deer, the blood, the this, the that, everything, the debris. Everything, the, the the non-living organ, everything's going yeah. when it's time. Yeah. So, like, fuck. And, bro, and that shit happens, like, like every, like, like X couple, amount of years. Yeah, like, we're couple. due for a flood. We're due for some, for some you know, but, so, some, like, know. the great, the great. I'm, I don't want no more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah, tell us about that. You were in Turks and Caicos. That shit was crazy, bro. That so, tell was... us. You are producing out on the freaking balcony, and then what'd you see? No, this is what happened. <laughs> I'm producing. I'm chilling. I'm high as fuck. So high. So drunk. So high. So drunk. So high. So drunk. <laughs> All I hear is running and say, pack that shit up. I said, what? He's like, the hurricane's almost here. <laughs> I said, oh, Lord. What are you talking about? The hurricane's almost here, bro. He's like, yeah. I've been looking at it all day. All day. No, no <laughs> word of nothing. Beautiful sun. You're not telling me shit about nothing. And I should have clued in because when I went to the airport, before I got on the plane, they said, well, we just got to make sure there's no hurricanes because there's a hurricane on its way there. I'm just I, like... I just want to get there. I, I, I'm not... And, and I'll tell you about some other shit after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, <laughs> after like, pod. After pod yeah. shit. <laughs> and I was, like, I was like, yo, hurricane. I was like, oh, hurricane. It's never been a hurricane. There's no hurricane going to Turks and Caicos. Dumbass Julius in the middle of an island. Obviously, there's a hurricane. <laughs> like, you fucking idiot. And anyway, so fucking... Uh, so I get there. Yeah, he says, pack it up. Well, I said, yo. He's like, yeah, look at this. Bro, when, he, when I know what to lie, when he showed us where we were going to be in six hours, we were in the eye. Wow. <laughs> it was all red. Red and yellow. It was, it was, it was no outside. I'm starting to laugh, bro. Yeah, no, you're gone. Okay. You're about to be gone. Bro, the thing, I looked at the thing. I said, huh? <laughs> this is what he's, going. he's like, yeah, we got to go. We got to go to the store. We got to get some shit. We got to ration. I'm tripping out. We fucking. We don't, we don't, have, we don't have our car yet. Yeah. So we have to walk to this gas station. 
We're only getting perishable, so we got some beans. We got some beef stew. We got bread. We got... Yeah. There was a point where we had no food. No lobster? We had no... No, it's, it's a gas station. It's filled with turks. We had nothing. No, there was a point where we were eating sandwiches with just mayonnaise on. No, no. <laughs> it was so bad. Yo, can somebody give me a clip? Can you pass me a phone? Bro, my man said, my man said, I'm making a sandwich. I said, what, what, what? And he just pulled out the mayonnaise. I went to me. I said, I said, yo, what the fuck? He said, you cost me the French dressing. No! <laughs> it was the French dressing. It was just bread. You know, butter and cheese? It was no cheese. It was bread, bread, bread and French dressing. Yes, bro. Bro. Mayo and oh, French fuck. dressing, bro. Fuck. Oh, bro. But that's struggle. That's struggle meals, yo. That's survival at that point. Yo, bro. bro it was crazy. So, like, <laughs> I'm down in my bedroom. The first wave hits. He said, that's yeah, the first wave. I said, no. <laughs> I said the first wave. <laughs> How many are there? So remember, remember, I said my phone's from the states. Yeah. So you cut off. So I had no data. Like I, I could call, but I had no data. Yeah. <laughs> so all the power goes out. Everything, and I think they actually cut the power because uh-huh. like fires, say, yeah, and blah blah blah, just in yeah. case, yeah, or whatever. So the, yo, bro, they cut out the, they cut out the fucking power. <laughs> I'm sitting there. I got nothing. I'm just, I'm looking for board games. I'm like, I'm looking for something. The house is shaking. I'm sleeping. And mind you, there's a turf war going on right now. Uh, my homeboy's cousin sent us videos of, like, guys' heads blown off down the street from us. Jeez. Like, because we didn't stay in, like, the resorts. We're, like, with the people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, like, right down the, the hill, it's, like a, a, like, a favela. Like, it's fucking, like, <laughs> like Far Cry shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> niggas are down there, bro. Wait, during Hurricane <laughs> Menzer? No, no, no. Oh, no. Before the hurricane. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, they're prepping. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm taking what so, you like, got. <laughs> I've been sleeping with this knife, this big, huge knife. I've been sleeping with this big knife, just ready for anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this guy comes, he... Knocks on the door. I'm like, I'm like, yo. I, I, yeah, I'm like, yo, knock on the door. Hello. <laughs> I don't know why. That's, that's supposed to be my scary voice. I don't know why I did that. I, I, I just, I, I'm like, who's that? Hello. Who's there? <laughs> like, I, he's, like, he's like, yo, it's, it's blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yo, what's up? What's up? I'm not going to say his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold, I, uh, hold, yeah, hold, yeah. Hold. Even though he don't care. He don't care. Yeah. And he's like, uh, I'm like, I'm like, who's that? And he's like, he's like, yo, it's blah blah blah. I'm like, okay, come in. He comes in and he's like, bro, it's scary up there. Can I sleep in here? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I don't even want to think yeah. could be. Yo, you probably bro. saw a lot of different personalities during the hurricane. Bro, but eh? I, I could feel him because he was sleeping upstairs. Yeah, that's so upstairs, fucked. shit was fucking. Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't know what got it. So like that was the first day. That was the first day. So that wasn't day. even the worst. Huh? That wasn't even the worst day. Bro, we had three days no power. That's fucked. Two yeah. days no power, just eating beef stews and, and mayo sandwiches and fucking <laughs> yeah, a little bit French dressing for taste. Yeah, it was yeah. fucked, bro. And then fucking and there was a dog there too, and I felt bad for the dog, so I brought the dog in, and the dog wouldn't because the dog's like super trained like that. The dog doesn't even come inside, oh, so like shit. I had to pick her up and bring her in, and she sat right at the fucking door, door, right at the door, Jeez. right at the fucking door. I don't know what got into me. I got drunk as fuck. Second day, still going crazy out there. Producing beats? I get out the shower. I say I'm naked. I'm going to the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I run outside in the middle of this hurricane like an idiot and jump naked in the pool. <laughs> Skinny dipping in the pool. For no reason. No fucking reason. I'm like, if I'm dying, I'm dying. Like, I'm living if I'm dying. Yeah. It's crazy. And then, uh, yeah, that, that, yeah, and then fucking finally the sun came around. And fucking everything was done. And then we walked back to the fucking gas station because we were out of everything. Yeah. We finally got a car, though. But we walked back to the gas station. Shit was fucked. Everything was fucked. Power lines down. Things, things were fucked. God. Thank God. God, like... Crazy. I think there was reported, like, 15 deaths or something like that. Uh, what, we are on time? Oh, we just, the cameras are starting to die. Oh. Uh, are you yeah. guys are professional. Yeah, I just said, I, I just said, I just said. You didn't charge the cameras. I just said, I just said. <laughs> I love it. But uh, yeah. you're killing it, bro.
This guy's killing it. I'm and crying. I'm, I'm literally crying right that's now, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You've been killing it, bro. Honestly. But so, yo, yeah, that's crazy. That's no, that's dope. Um, I guess um, out of your career so far, what has been one of your biggest highlight moments? You would say, or your biggest highlight moment so far, up to date. Uh, I don't know. I got a couple, man. Like obviously the Scott Shorts thing was great. Obviously the Offset thing was great. My biggest thing is like performing. Yeah, and performing for crowds and my I love the energy like when I watch like on TV like people do like big huge shows like even like that Bad Bunny shit bro I cry really? I cry and when they stop singing and everyone starts singing that energy like even thinking about it right now makes me want to cry like I that shit is so touching you know like all the hard work that you've put in and blah 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 and people really appreciate you and they love you like that and they're looking up to you and they're crying singing your lyrics and blah, blah, like so like I don't know I've, I've done a couple of shows with Carl Wolf that like for like 18,000 people 50,000 people 10,000 people and it's like it's not crazy huge but that's huge bro yeah of course bro. that's huge coming from doing shows for 10 people yeah like that's huge and like everyone's singing and like we say yo make some noise and everyone makes noise and that roar that roar that's just fucking that's my makes my hair that's my shit I can feel yeah. your passion about that bro like honestly mm. like the fact that you said like you know that makes you like emotional like that's yeah. you know it's fucking real yeah it's you know oh, it's I mean? really real bro it's really real my wife gets on me all the time we'll be watching a movie <laughs> I'll be watching a movie and my wife will turn to me and be like oh baby you crying <laughs> cause she knows she knows she knows exactly when, when it's hitting it be hitting if you hit, I bought my eyes out on the new the new Lion King because Lion King already was lit. Was, yeah, but yeah. then with those live action, <laughs> yeah, bro, sick, oh my god! I thought that was a little baby lion. <laughs> I was like, oh, baby, I just want to grab you, <laughs> Mustafa. No, <laughs> no, like, yo, fuck it. Honestly, over anything, you're definitely an entertainer. This is a good way to put it. Respect, like, even bro. Just being able to talk to you here and laugh and just yeah. like. Overall, right. man, you're an and it feels very real, very genuine, like who yeah. you are, yeah. right? And that's yeah. super fucking weird. So if you're a class that. clown out there, kids, keep being it. Keep being the class clown, yeah. cause you entertain it. Keep doing it. Yeah. But yeah, no fucking. That's what I was, I was a class clown. I got into so much trouble for that shit. So much trouble for that shit. I remember my grandfather. Not even for the class clown thing, but I remember freaking. Uh, we've all been disciplined, whatever. But I just remember like. Yo, oh, bear lashes, lashes. bro. <laughs> over like just <this> bullshit. <laughs> Eating popcorn on the couch. Oh, <laughs> yo, you know those sleeps though. Those sleeps are the best. I wish I could. I wish someone would beat my ass. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> I wish. Yo, so will you cut yourself to sleep? Yeah. Will you cut yourself? Yeah. I wish <laughs> someone would beat my ass so I could <laughs> go home. I can't even live anymore. Like, yeah, those yeah, sleeps are different, different, bro. Crazy. Those sleeps are yo. so different, bro. After getting fucking woke, and you wake up and you don't know where you're at. You're like, what day is it? Yeah, yeah. What time is it? Did that really happen yesterday? Did I get whooped that bad? Those sleeps are great, yo. Yeah, those cries. That's the cry. Yeah, that's the cry. Hyperventilating. Yeah. And then all you hear is, "Are you crying?" Are you right. crying? And you hear the bell hit the door window <laughs> door, or the door one more time and say, You want me to give you something to for crying? Bro? Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. That's what it is. No, uh, facts. I think that's a good way to fucking just segue up. Yeah. Bro. I was going to say, like, like we're almost, you know, running out of time. Obviously, clear the cameras are almost out of battery. But, bro, is there anything else you want to promote or, you know, or, or, or like, plug in? Or plug like, in? Nothing really, yo. I'm just, this grind, yo. Be yourself. Unapologetically be yourself. Uh, fuck everyone. Like, not everyone, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I got some new music I'm working on. It's been a while. I've just been doing tattoos. It's been a while. But I got some new music I'm working on. And uh, believe in yourself. <laughs> <laughs> never give up. Yeah. Never give up. No, but believe in yourself, but take all the steps. Yeah. Uh -huh. Manifest, but take all the steps. Work hard. You know, like, there's no, no reaction without... There's, there's no... Action without reaction, no reaction without action. Yeah. Blah blah blah. Put in the work. You guys watch all your fucking famous YouTube stars, all your celebrities, and that could be you. It's not really hard. It, well, <laughs> it, it, it's, let me. Let, it's not easy, but it's simple. It's not easy, but it's simple. a good way to put it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's simple. Facts. Dude, all right, bro. Up. Thank you so much, uh, honestly, for your time, bro. This has honestly been a fucking sick podcast. Yeah, it was man. dope. Like, one of my favorite. We ran some right tattoos all one day. One of my favorite. I'm up, yo. I'm different yeah, now. Yeah, I'm different now, bro. Don't play with his body. Don't play with me now, bro. Don't play with his body.
Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. different. Yeah, it's it's like that. moving different, everything, bro. Anyways, but yo, make sure well, you, you like. Guys, yo. No, yeah, bro, no, no honestly, bro, it's been it's been real. Honestly, it's been super sick, bro. Honestly, thank you guys for having me. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and that that's all. That's a wrap. Yo, guys, remember. Peace.